Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of October 17th, 2022. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Catherine Holeko. Hello. And Nicole Eridix. Hello. Every week, we chat about what parents are talking, complaining, and obsessing about right now. This week, we're complaining about almond moms. Nicole will explain it. It'll be fine. <laughs> and obsessing about gift giving. We also take a couple of breaks for an entertainment discussion and a recommendation roundup. Today, we are talking about talking to little kids we don't know and whether that's creepy. Mm-hmm. I, My husband and I, as I've talked to here about here before... Um, take walks around our neighborhood, very pleasant walks around our neighborhood. We see people with dogs. We wave. Sometimes I get to pet the dog. Now we have the added thing of my husband squashing spotted lantern flies, as we discussed <laughs> last week, which is a little unsettling, you know, st- step, step, step through the lovely neighborhood. Stop, stop, <laughs> ah, die. So it's a little different, but, uh, you know, it's very pleasant. And this one day we were approaching this little cul-de-sac we go around and there was this little kid, cute little blonde kid on a scooter of some sort, just ripping around up and down the cul-de-sac, just going super fast. And we sort of, you know, as you do, oh, huh, be careful, hon, oh, ha, ha, you know, and we walked around the cul-de-sac and he was still there. And there was also a little blonde girl and a littler blonde boy. And the two older kids just start talking to us. You know, oh, this is my scooter. Look how fast I can go. Isn't this great? And then the girl was holding a, holding a, um, ice pack in her hand, an ice bag mm-hmm. type thing Mm -hmm. and the lady who was with them said she has that because her knee hurts her but really what she was just doing is just carrying it around because she was running (laughs) doing all sorts of stuff but she had fallen on her knee and so she needed the drama of the ice pack so she was telling us all about her knee and about the ice pack and stuff and they were just sort of clustered around us and I feel just as if I see a dog on the street I want to go pet it if there's cute little kids and they seem to want to engage with me I want to chat with them so, uh, you know, the one little boy said, I am, my name is such and such, and I am in the first grade. And I said, oh, what school do you go to? Thinking probably they went to the neighborhood school where my kids go to. And I would say, oh, my kids go there. And do you know this teacher or that teacher? But instead, he went to a different school. And at one point, I said, oh, do you guys live in this neighborhood? And he said, yes, this is our house. And he ran up to the house and showed me where it is. And, you know, they told me, the girl told us her name and age. And they told us, the two older ones told us the little one's name and age. And the lady who was with them you know, was part of this. She was there. She was chatting with us too. And she had a look on her face that could either have meant, why don't these people move along? Why are they talking to these children? Or why don't my children leave these poor people alone so they can continue their walk? It was hard to judge what the look was. Right. But finally, mm-hmm. we continued on our walk. And, and it was very pleasant until I started to think, I now know a lot about these small children. Is that appropriate? I know their names. I know their, if, as, if I remembered, which I don't, <laughs> I would know their names and their ages. I know where they go to school. I know which house they live in. Was I just being creepy? Was that not cool to ask? I mean, I wasn't asking, which house are you in so I can come back later and kidnap you? I was asking just to sort of, what do you say? You know? Right, just making conversation. Bunch of kids running up and down a street. Oh, I, it seemed okay at the time. And I just asked about the school because I thought it would be the school that's very close to them. So am I a creepy child stalker or (laughs) is that just a normal thing for people to do? When my kids were that little, they did not talk. And so people would ask questions of me that they would ask of them. Right. They would say, oh, is that his scooter? What a nice scooter. Oh, did something happen to her knee? Well, poor honey. And uh, where does she go to school? Do you guys live around here? And I would answer the questions for them. But in this case, it was these little kids wanted to have a conversation with us. Although my husband now says, I didn't want to have a conversation. It was just you. (laughs) (laughs) And it was just me. He's not wrong. I, they were so cute and they were so verbal. I'm not used to that, you know? (laughs) It was uh, was such a nice memory until I thought, oh, dear. Was it inappropriate to ask those questions? Was it inappropriate to ask those questions? I bring that question to you, my co-podcasters and also listeners who should feel free to call me a terrible person on. I mean, since... Social media, why should you be different? Since I know you and I know you're not a stalker, (laughs) then I have to say it is fine. Uh Uh-huh. and I mean, I just think that there's some kids that are just very chatty like that. And these kids were super friendly. We didn't, you know, chase them to say, tell us things. Right. They were exactly. like, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? We'll tell you anything. <laughs> and I, if, if that's the way they usually are, I yeah. bet you that the 
adult caregiver was just like, oh, here we go again. Yes. I hope they're not bothering you. They're, you know, they yeah. don't understand when to stop kind of thing. Because yes. <laughs> that's how point, I would be. Yeah. At one point she said something like, come on, guys, we got to let these people continue their walk. Right. And I thought, or is or is it like, go on, people. We need to, I need to let my kids continue to play. <laughs> right. I could have gone either way again. Um yeah, I, it's, people still do that, right? Do people still talk to strange children they don't know if, if the child seems to want to talk? I think so. And especially because the parent or caregiver yes, was that's there. True. You know, yes. if the kids were by themselves. Then I would have said, where is your mom right. or your dad or your mm -hmm. caretaker or, mm -hmm. you know, the adult responsible for you at this point in time because right. you're going too fast on that scooter <laughs> and you're going to fall and then you're going to need the ice pack that your sister has. <laughs> right. And she's not going to want to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And it's going to be a whole it's thing. hers. <laughs> <laughs> so show me your house so I can deliver you to responsible adults. <laughs> Come get in my car. I have candy. No. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. I think definitely like kids are certainly told, you know, not to talk mm -hmm. to strangers and that yes. kind of thing. But there's a, you know, there's also like, we should be neighborly and, you know, yes. it's good to, it's right. good for kids to know people in their neighborhood. You know, what if, uh -huh. what if they did fall outside yeah. and you were the only person around and right. they remembered that you now were a nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hope so. I mean, it, it, I, I think right. it also just depends on your neighborhood and yeah. your community, you know, whether people are generally comfortable with it or... Yeah. I mean, in most cases, if I see a kid, just as if I see a dog, I'll go, I'll ask permission to pet and I'll pet. Mm -hmm. If I see a kid just by themselves or with somebody, I might just say, oh, hello, or, you know, just right. something as we walk past right. and that's the end of it. Yeah. Or, you know, oh, that's a nice scooter as I walk past. Mm -hmm. But this, in mm -hmm. this case, they just really just sort of gathered around us like spotted lantern flies <laughs> pass without learning all this information right that's my story anyway what do you think nicole if i was in california would i be in big trouble yeah or canada <laughs> definitely southern california yeah. people would like run out to their house grab their children and scurry away <laughs> yeah but then yeah. they wouldn't be outside without being right beside their children anyway, so chances yeah. of talking to a child on the street without a guardian is very slim. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least they did have a guardian, although I haven't seen them outside since, so maybe they said, <laughs> weird people stalk these streets. Stay away. If we see them coming, scurry inside. Quick, right. quick. Yeah, yeah. To a different house and confuse them. Was it, yeah. it wasn't your cul-de-sac, right? It was somewhere else? No, it was another one. We just, it's a little, I trying to get we have, we have this walk that we take, and sometimes if I'm trying to get more steps, I'll go around this little cul-de-sac, so it's right. not ours. So they don't know us, I don't think. Yeah, I don't recognize yeah. them. I do know people on their street, so I thought, well, if anybody questions me, I can give them references, because I know people who live on their street who know us, and we're okay. <laughs> yeah. They will vouch think, for you. <laughs> I think I'm just scarred from my teacher days, because yeah. I will be polite, but then I will like cut it off and move on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, you know, I, yeah, I just, um, not, not that I don't want to be chatty and interested. I mean, I will uh -huh. with my friends, kids, right. Yeah. Like, but if there's a neighborhood kid, you know, I'll say like, for example, I was, um, coming home, I was in a parking lot the other day and I was getting in my truck and, this family, this mom and dad were loading up their kids. And so while they were doing that, they had one of their kids waiting to be loaded up into the car, right? Mm -hmm. And he's like, hi. <laughs> he's probably like three years old, right? And yeah. Like, hi. And he says, that's my car and this is my mom. And then that, that, that. and I'm like, oh, yeah. that's nice. And then I'm like, okay, I got to go bye. <laughs> I got it. I got to get that, develop that instinct because I would want to stand there and talk to him about his mommy's car. <laughs> yeah, no, like, and me, it's just like, um, don't engage, just, it's not safe. <laughs> like, just, 
Yeah. Don't even go there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm That's sad. You know, I wish but I come from a world world. where I come from a world where yeah. like, you have to be careful of everything you do when you're Yeah. And rightly so when you're around kids, right? And other right. Kids, kids. And then people I come from a world of parents who misinterpret <laughs> yeah. and, and judge and um get angry um when they perceive you to have done something or said something to hurt their child. So it's like, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> right. I'm out. <laughs> so yeah, it was yeah. really weird when I first moved here because I met this lady in the schoolyard, like she was another parent and she was so friendly and so outgoing and she would always come over and she'd chat with Kristen and me. And I would just think that was like the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> what is this is this the culture it turns out it wasn't it was just her but um <laughs> yeah, i was just really weirded out when <laughs> somebody was coming over talking to my kid yeah <laughs> and see right. uh, here it's definitely the default to just talk to everybody yeah you know and even yeah, just yeah. when you're taking a walk when you pass somebody to uh-huh. say hello or yeah. at least smile or something uh-huh. and when I moved here from, you know, New York City, <laughs> that was definitely something to adjust to. Because yeah, you don't want to make eye contact when you're no. walking the streets in New York City. <laughs> yeah, when we walk around our neighborhood, there's quite a lot of people who walk, in, you know, parts of the same route or the same route the opposite way. So we see them twice. Yeah. But, you know, it's and I always say hi try to make eye contact and say hi or wave. And sometimes people do it and sometimes people don't. And when you say hi and the other person doesn't, then you feel like it. Yes. (laughs) Very (laughs) awkward. All righty then. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, and I think like if the children, I think the parents are probably, you know, if the kids are very chatty and friendly and outgoing, I mean, you're obviously Mm -hmm. not the first adults that, True. They've gone up to and chatted with, like, yes. and so the parents are probably very familiar with that whole situation yeah. and feel okay with their kids doing that. Yeah, um, I, I couldn't quite tell if this was a was a caretaker or grandma, possibly, but she could also have been oh, the mom. Yeah, and so, but she seemed at first she was like she was trying to tell the kids to leave us alone, but then the other one was running away. So mm-hmm. she had to go after the, she had a handful. Yeah. In other words. And maybe she was, was glad that she could just stand there for a minute. Mm-hmm. While other people, <laughs> other people mm-hmm. entertained the children. Right. Um, they were, but, uh, yeah, they definitely initiated the contact. Mm-hmm. So that makes me feel a little better about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But geez, this little kid was riding a scooter with, Crocs on. That's not safe, is it? <laughs> okay, no. don't even go there, okay? <laughs> Stay away a, from that. The foot on top of the scooter had a croc on it. The other foot might not have, and that's the one you have to worry about. But uh, <laughs> just walk away, Terry. Walk that. away. Just I walk know. away. That's like if I see kids with uh, with scooters or bikes without helmets, I <laughs> oh, yeah, really didn't have a helmet bite on. my tongue and he was real going, hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was a yeah. Fisher Price scooter, so this wasn't exactly something that was built for speed, right? <laughs> but still, he is moving, he's moving a yeah. little bit. Mm-hmm. Lots of hills in our neighborhood, right? So, mm. I you know, that's what I'll hit him with if they come to me with, Why are you talking with these children? Well. <laughs> <laughs> safety concerns exactly no. no it was nice and i hate that i have to double think it you know yeah mm-hmm. uh, but hmm well we can vouch for you because we have talked to you every day for years <laughs> <laughs> when the police come, I'll give them this podcast and say, see, I did have reservations about it. And, and my mom, fellow podcaster says I'm okay. <laughs> At least one did. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Nicole's got her doubts. <laughs> Just looking out for your best interest That's there, Terry. Right. That's right. <laughs> That's it for today's round one. And usually this is where we say tune in tomorrow for our entertainment themed round two. But we have a slight schedule change this week. We blame Tyra. Yes. Thanks a lot to Dancing with the Stars for messing with our schedule. But <laughs> they are going to have a two night event this week. So that means that we are going to swap our usual round two and round three. 
So tomorrow you will get round three, which will be our complaining episode. And then Wednesday you will get our entertainment themed round two. Um, And you can also come back later in the week to find out what we're obsessing about and recommending. We're always interested in what you have to say, so drop us a comment on our website, our Facebook page, or Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. <laughs>